Hello everyone, welcome to Gamer Ability. I'm your host, Sixpenny. The day we have all been waiting for is finally here, the release of PGA Tour 2K21, and I am so hyped to play this game for the first time and to provide you with the gameplay overview of PGA 2K21 and give you my first impression of the game. Enjoy. The clocks have finally struck midnight and it's time to dive into PGA Tour 2K21. So I'm at the main menu now. I'm going to scroll through some of the things at the top. Um, but I want to start with showing you some of the difficulty settings. I really like the changes to the difficulty this year. You will have a lot of customization options. Whether you're a new player, you'll be able to tailor it to a way to learn the game to make it easier for you. Um, and then you can increase it along the way. If you want to make this game as hard as you can, you can do that. If you want to make it as close to real golf as you can, you can do that. Now I'm going to go with the default pro difficulty because that's the default for online matchmaking. And so what you can shuffle through here, there's beginner, amateur, pro elm, pro, master, legend. So I'm going to go with pro. The swing difficulty is a big one. Um, now matchmaking will be at pro. And so if you, if you do want to play multi online matchmaking, you want to work up to pro. Now I would recommend if you've never played a golf game, or if this is your first golf game in a long time, I would set it lower and learn the game. Okay, and so you can change the distance control, putt, you can add putt preview. On pro there is three default putt pre previews. So that means in matchmaking you, you will have three. You can uh, have it help you with wind, lie, lie angle elevation which is very helpful for new players as they're learning the game a lot of different dis difficulty options here I really like that, that it's, I think it's gonna help new players and it's also gonna be exciting for veteran players you can also change the HUD there's a lot of things you can change on the HUD as well I want to show you some of the customization features my with your my player. When you go to create, there's a lot of customization options for your character. Um, so if we go to appearance here, you can choose a preset. After you choose a preset, or if you don't want to choose a preset, you can go right into facial features. You can modify just about anything here. Uh, so we click on shape, on jaw, there's so many different options here that you can change. I'm sure the community will make some really great golfers. Um, you can, there's different hairstyles here. Um, not a lot of hairstyles, but I know a lot of the golfers, golfers will be wearing hats anyways. Um, but a lot of customization options are here and I really like that. You can also change the height and weight of your golfer. And whether they're right or left-handed and you can look at the clothing options the you see my player wearing the pre-order bonus set so that's the adidas pre-order bonus if you did pre-order the game um, but you can change these 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 are, i can click on and look at the ones that i have unlocked so i can change the hats some pretty neat hats so you can do a cowboy hat uh, really some neat hats there i'm sure community will have be having some uh, cool combinations there now you have the in-game currency at the top right of the screen there you can see my name my level my handicap and then the in-game currency I did get the deluxe edition so I did start with 2300 you can use this to buy new clothes accessories and also buy new clubs which is a new feature this year so I'm gonna dive into the golf bag I really love the new golf bag bag design a golf club design where you can actually buy clubs so I did get the deluxe edition so you will see the gold plated driver which is pretty sweet and also the gold plated putter here which is really cool as well uh, so I want to show you I'm gonna click on the driver uh, so you can see what's really neat so that's the driver I have it's made for distance but there's also other attributes it's not very good with such as shot shaping for and forgiveness 
forgiveness will be huge for new players. So this might not be the driver for you starting out. You might want to go with the default driver, which has a lot more forgiveness and distance control. I'll go through some of the drivers here so you can see a wide variety of brands here. I really like this option. It doesn't look like there's any one club that's going to be overpowering. I think it seems, you know, I, I don't know this without playing it, um, but I think I may end up changing to a more forgiving driver. But one thing you can also do, if I click on the driver to equip it, I can change the loft angles. If I want to go, I'm going to use 10.5 because I get more carry distance of 291. Now there is a driving benefit here. If you look at the go driver, it carries 291. If we go to the default driver, it carries 275. That's a 16 yard difference. That, that can be quite a big difference. But if it doesn't matter if I hit this club 291, if I'm not accurate with it because it has low forgiveness, I'm really not getting the benefit of it. So I think it is going to be, I think it's going to be allow players more freedom here. Um, if they need more forgiveness, choose a driver with more forgiveness. If they're if they're getting better, they're hitting their swing timing it's getting better then they can choose more distance you can also edit out different clubs now I will say when you do buy an iron set a wedge set hybrid woods you get access to all of them so you don't have to buy a three iron and a four iron and a five iron once you buy the set you have all of them for that particular set um, so one I will say one of the ones that stood out to me, iron-wise, you look at the tailor-made Silmax, look at the forgiveness, distance control, swing plan. I think that's going to be a very good club. I don't know without trying it. I'm just going to go with default for now. I'm not going to purchase any. Just to see how the game feels right now I did take out the five hybrid and swap it with the four iron so you can do that if I want to swap out the four iron I can click on it um, I can pull in a hybrid if I want click on it and then pull it whichever hybrid I want through so that's the golf bag I really think that's gonna be a neat feature this year I'll show you some of the game modes so as we go into play now uh, you can have a you can go into local match and online matchmaking or create a private match or join one. So I'm going to jump into matchmaking just so you can see the game modes. So there is head to head versus, there is teams, alternate shot, and then wagers. Now, I did see some streamers and YouTubers playing scramble mode there. So it looks like they replaced it at launch for now to alternate shot as the two versus two match. I'm sure this will be changed um, as the game maybe even every day or each week to add different game modes in the matchmaking. You can also start your PGA Tour career. I will be doing that in a future video and actually playing through the whole career mode with you. You can create an online society or join. This is basically a league to where you can join with friends, you can join with the community. It's a really neat feature. And then you can go into training. I'm going to training or the course designer and I will tell you the course designer for this game is amazing it can be overwhelming at first so if you go to YouTube you can look up um, different creators um, crazy Canuck 1985 makes incredible tutorial videos um, so check him out if you want more information on the course designer I'm gonna jump into training Now in training, you can hit the driving range, the putting green, the, ch the chipping green. I'm going to do the driving because I want to show you the swing, new swing calibration option. So the game actually allows you to calibrate your swing to your specific tempo or your specific um, controller. So let's start by just hitting a drive here. Now, you, I would highly recommend, as you see how it swung very fast, not very fast, but fast follow up. You see how that really kicked the ball to the left. I got good distance on it. At the bottom, we have the power bar there, which is new to the game. 
white is where you want to hit at the bottom there. So I'm all over the place right now. So I'm going to hit start. And I'm going to go to swing calibration. So I'd recommend you do the swing calibration every so often. You don't have to do it after every match, but just to make sure that your swing is always calibrated. Uh, so you hit 10 shots, and it's going to calibrate. Now I'm holding down Y to speed through this, which you can do in rounds as well. I will say at a first glance, the graphics look so much better. Textures look, textures look a lot better. I'm getting really really not getting any drops in frame weight rates. I know this is the driving range. We'll get more as we get into the round there. I mean, I am all over the place right now. Slow, fast. No perfects yet. Now, to give you perspective, I've been playing the Golf Club series since the original. And in 2019, I played on Master Clubs, which was the hardest preset. And this game on Pro feels way harder than Master. And so to give you perspective, Pro is about 5% harder around, I don't know the specific numbers, than Master was. And then Master difficulty is about 10% and Legend is higher. I don't know the specific, I was watching a Respawn stream earlier today and he was talking about the different difficulties compared to the last game. I mean, I'm all over the place here. The first round should be interesting. All right, calibration complete. So then it'll take you back into the driving range here. Let's see if it's got an got any better not really still fast so I'm fast every time and slow So this is why I may need a driver with more forgiveness here. Yikes, that, that was a cool swing animation. I don't know if, so if you saw that, I was very slow and my golfer kind of come out, came out of his swing and then let go of the club. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. Go back to the main menu and start a full round see, to show you actual gameplay. So I'm going to dive into a local match. There are 15 official courses in this game. I'm going to click on the official here so you can see Eastlake Golf Club, TPC Riverlands, TPC Louisiana, TPC San Antonio, Riviera Country Club, Atlantic Beach Country Club, TPC Summerlin, TPC Southwind, TPC Scottsdale, TPC Sawgrass, which is one of my favorites and the first one I'm going to play, TPC Deer Run, TPC Boston, and then we have other courses from HB, Quincy Downs Country Club, Copper Dunes, Hickory Creek. I'm going to start on TPC Sawgrass here. Uh, so you can change the round settings. You can change the mode, so the strokes, stable forward, match play, skins, four ball, alternate shot, scramble. And you can change the roll set for the round. You can choose the tees, pin selection. I'm going to, for the first round, I'm going to play from the blue tees here. I'm going to play from number one. You can change if you just want to play nine holes. You can change the conditions. I'm just going to go with the default for now. 
All right, now I'm gonna hit play new round. Here we go into the first round. I'm so excited here. This can be, it's gonna be tough. I can already see that from the practice range. I may be all over the place on the golf course today. This is a course that I have always done well on, TPC Sawgrass. But it, it might not be the case today. It's going to take some time for me to get used to this game. So we're on the first tee. Let's get it started strong. I'm going to start off with the driver here. Slow follow through. It's going to take me, may make the fairway. See here. Ah, so close. So we're in the light rough. Not bad. Oh, let's regroup. You can still see that cut. so John is the announcer, uh, which is great. So he's the announcer for casual rounds, and he's the in-game reporter in the career mode. Now, some additions to the game. We have the caddy book here, to where I can actually move the cursor around, zoom in, move the cursor around to figure out how far I need to hit it and how far that I am from the hole. You can also, there's a new shot shaping feature. You can change the loft. You can also change the attacking angle with the right stick. So you can generate some more spin. I'm really excited for this. I've been wanting the ability to generate more spin and have more freedom since the first game. Now I am playing on the pro difficulty preset. And one thing you'll notice when we get on the putting green here all right, one thing that the pro difficulty that does, it already tells you how hard to hit it. In front of us. It doesn't aim for you. Let's do that, but it tells you how hard to hit it. So far, so good. Ooh, I got lucky there. Good job. I hit that. I hit that too hard. Uh, the pin is in by default, but you can hit X to Things take it out. I really like nice. the cutscenes in between. It's a really good addition. Uh, they they look really nice, and this course is just beautiful. They've done a great job with the graphics on this game. This drive should be safe. This shot is clocking in at 195 yards away. The wind's gonna take it. No, it's gonna, not gonna take it much. I'm gonna hit it under the wind here. Add a little up on, up loft. Now in this first round, I'm just going to play through so you guys can watch. I'm not going to provide a lot of kind of tips and how I play or some tutorials, but I am going to be making a lot of tutorials once I learn the game, once I learn the putting system. Um, I have a That's really safe. systematic approach to putting and gameplay um, that I think will be very beneficial for beginners, but also at a intermediate or advanced players. But I need to learn the game system first to see how the game plays. This isn't going to break very much being uphill that much. It could be a good one. Oh, that's a great start. And the eagle. Eagle. Drops. Birdie eagle. On pro difficulty. This has been a great start. I like how it moves directly into the next hole. It's very nice. And the game is running really smooth right now. Much better than 2019. Frame rate wise, it's it's being great. Now I'm gonna try to get some spin on this ball. Now when you adjust the spin, each thing you adjust, it lowers the forgiveness at the top there. All right, that's gonna be a nice shot. Well, I think, I think that's gonna right be the one. Here. Beautiful. Nice approach, pin high. That's where we like it. And this one is for the birdie. Good start. Well done. And right now you are at four under. Teeing up here on the All fourth right. hole. Now I'm playing on I'm playing on pro difficulty because that's the default for matchmaking, and I want I love matchmaking and I want to play a lot of it. Um, so I want to start at pro difficulty. Now, if you're new to this game, there's a tournament feature. Uh, there's a tournament website, a third-party tournament website, tgctours.com, that has cross-platform 
tournaments. And it is so much fun. It's a great website. I rec highly recommend you to check that out. Um, especially if you're a new player. Now, it will take some time for it to launch. Um, they got to get the new system. And they're changing a lot this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. But it could be four to six weeks before it starts. But go to TGCTours.com. Go to the forums. It's a great place to be. It's a lot of fun. Now, on, that, on TGC Tours, you will... Def the default there is going to be master difficulty now there is a beginner tour you can do as well so I will probably move up to master just to prepare for TGC tours alright 22 footer not too bad actually oh it could be oh so close good putt though this one's for par I will tell you, putting is really hard. Okay, time you have, to, you really need to make sure you're slowly moving that left stick back. If and you move it like you, you did in 2019, it's going to be way Let's too fast, and you're going to crush the putt fifth. like I've done multiple times. So this is actually my second round playing. Um, my first round recording, I had an error out of here. to Might where in my recording system to where it actually didn't step. record it. I shot a one over that first round. Um, so this is actually my second round in the game. Which I'm starting to get the hang of it. Shot from the heavy rough here. Let's see how it affects it. That's going to play really nice. Perfect. So definitely playing and much better this second round than the first round. So what you missed on the first round okay, is a, a lot of fast putts to where I would move it back too quickly and yeah, just crush it. So I highly recommend you to go do a practice swing. So do a practice hole. swing. You hit the left click button. It'll show practice swing. And you can do as many of these as you want. It'll show you your swing on the right. Just so you can get used to it. Do this on the on the green. Or hit the practice greens. I'm starting I'm getting better at the swing well, that tempo. Shot looks like it'll do. It's feeling more natural. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this game six. so far. This is everything I wanted in the sequel. Yeah, you know, there are, you know, a few things that need to be changed, but overall they've done a great change. Great. They've done a they've well, added some great right. changes to this game. Okay, we're on the green. It's going to be interesting so to with to some power. tournaments playing without the power bar. That's going to be interesting. setting up here and a preview some things I will be There's making videos on in the future I'm gonna be doing a career mode series I'm gonna be doing an online multiplayer series now on the seventh and other series as well um, if you want a specific video tutorial uh, leave a comment down in the comment section just let me know um, if you want to know looks like it's tee shots coming in, in for safe landing any video you want just post because I want to make videos that my community wants to see. Yards from the pin. A little too short. 97 power. Got a nice bounce there. That'll work. Oh yeah, that was a tidy the, little Those cut scenes, well they look so nice. You could take this putt down. You could go to six under. This isn't bad. Going towards that hole. Perfect. Nice Barely caught for the, the, the left edge. Big now we'll tell you, I, I love TPC Sawgrass. This is one of my favorite courses. So I'm part of why I'm doing pretty good here is because I just love this course. 
So I am going to shot shape, add a little low loft, put it up in the air a little bit more. Add a little spin to it. Uh, that's going to be too hard. I don't mind to chip this. This, is, this this isn't a bad position to be in. That was just a little off on that approach. Yeah, John's right on that one. Was just shot a on little off. Okay, this will save you par. It's gonna be a tough. That's a tough short putt here. Yep, I knew it. Oh. All right, three feet to the cup. Just trying to go for bogey free round, but All hey, right, you know, bogeys are going to happen. Just part of the game. Five under, moving into the ninth hole. I usually score pretty well on the ninth hole. Unless I just jinxed it. This is usually a hole I score well on. Get a good bounce. Stay in the fairway. Stay in the fairway. Yes. <sighs> That'll do nicely. And we're around about, I'd say, two. I'm aim towards to the right side. Use that pin. slope. Oh, that's gonna be get a good bounce. Oh, that fast follow through hurt me. We'll be hitting from okay, the sand. So this is the new shot, shot they added, the splash shot. A really neat addition. In the bunker, who cares? You're just gonna stick it close, I guess. I need to remember to take the flag stick out. That I keep forgetting that. Birdied this one after a bogey on the last. Well done. I mean, who, not many people putt with the Great flag stick in. On that one. But it seems to be on by default. Here's our second shot on the 10th. Too hard. So one thing I need to get used to is the distance. It, it's going to be interesting when I take the power bar off. Well, better luck next time. This is what our third shot's looking like. There is a little rumble at the top of your swing. You'll oh, notice almost. when you're in the wide area, that's when you want to swing forward. It's subtle, but it is enough to give you that cue. Looking good. Okay, good job on and I believe one. that's on even with the power on bar five. turned off. That'll be a good drive. We'll take it. See if we can get another eagle this round. And from here, we're looking at about 230 yards or so. Ah, uh ha. -huh. Fast. This hey, at least I'm in the fairway. Left. This can be. This can be a fairly easy chip. And this is your third shot. Try the splash shot. Yeah, you can dial it in with that shot. All right, let's take this for Birdie and peace out. What do you say? And as that drops into the hole, Birdie, that's sixth, Birdie today. seventh under through 12. Yeah, it up on a par Been a four. great first round. All right, now you missed this in the first round because I didn't, for the recording problems. Um, now, in the first round, I hit it in the water here. So you're going to see me aim way far at this tree here. And, of course, I do slow. But, hey, I'd rather be over here than I would be in the water. Well, that's too bad. Okay, you are in the rough. And just so you know, you are deep down in the rough. Ooh. 
Mm. Chunked it. Back in the saddle here. Saddle being fairway. Nice stuff. Splash shot. Splash it in there. That'll work. You know, it, it's such an easy hole. I, here we this go. hole, let's, let's save power on this. One. If you want to score on it, just hit a five wood or three wood ah, off the tee. Okay, Play from the fairway. I, I can't believe I missed okay, that putt. Scope out our standing. That was pitiful. Here all right, that's all right. On the 13th. First, second round, we got this. Add a little spin to it. Missed the green. What's unlucky? Missed the green on that approach. I was going for it. Yep, I got a little risky. Because that would have been uh, way off. I was handle. confident. This putt's about four feet. Good job in there with a par. I, what's so, I love how go. it's par so quick between each shot and each hole. Load times are incredible. Or lack of load times. Ooh, a little bit off on that swing. Make sure you check your swing meter. I seem to always do a slow swing on this course. Now, I don't know if you noticed, and but the swing animation. So I was slow, here. and the, the golfer on the screen actually kind of let go of his club and of came out of his swing. Now. That's a, That's a cool animation. I liked it a lot. Come on, ball. Kick to the right. Well, not the best result there. That was some gnarly stuff you had to hit from, though. Get a good roll. Oh, that was a good shot. Great chip shot there. Pure. That's pure. Yeah, move the putty Down meter. It, it's it's so sensitive. I will tell you. Sitting at six under par yeah, after that sensitive. one. Let's see what happens here on the fifteenth. So far, I'm really liking this game. Should be a good result off this, the here. The mechanics wise is greatly improved. I the physics are so much better. You can actually spin the ball. You can actually okay. stop the Setting ball. Up about 180 yards out. Plays so much better. See if I can generate spin. I keep oh perfect. So we'll be able to see. I Come change on, the attacking the angle. Left. Let's see how much spin we can generate. Pretty good for that club. Pretty good. Now, I, I could do more, but I'm afraid That'll of the, for the approach. lack of forgiveness I'll have if I do it. Looks like we could have a birdie on this hole. So it, you can see in pro it kind of spoils oh, on, you and tells you how hard to hit it. And that will we, you know, it's... I haven't played matchmaking yet, but I would assume if it's pro difficulty, that's how it's going to be. And I feel like putting is going to be pretty easy. Five. These are my personal favorites. Online. The swing was a little off kilter. Oop, fetched up in the branches here. Played it safe, and that's what happens. Well, that was never going to be good. Okay, second shot here on the 16th. Moral of the story, you know, try not to play it safe in golf, okay, especially in a one, one day in tournament. This one's your third. This is yeah, a beautiful be, hole, uh, beautiful course. Green here. Well, that approach kind of missed the mark a little bit. Here's your fourth shot. I will say chipping oh, nice little chip on pro is actually fairly easy that, we will move on compared to the last game. The short game like for me three in front of us here. became it was difficult for me in the last game. Nice swing on that. That's gonna be nice. 
Come on, stop. Stop. Oh. oh what a shot on the epic, iconic Seven number 17. Can we birdie it? I think so. so far. Yes. Birdies everywhere. What a round Birdie so far. Eight under everywhere. through 17. Let's finish yeah, strong. Can we finish with an another birdie? Under. Let's see what happens here on the 18th. I've been doing fast follow through. Good gracious. Oh, perfect. Yaps. That'll work. Lit that one up. That was a huge try. I, w I almost played for a fast follow through and aimed way right. I'm glad I didn't. It turned out beautifully. All right. This is about 120 yards or so from the pin. Oh, come on. Come on. Get right. Come on, wind. Take it. Ah. Uh, we can still finish the birdie. Chip this mm, in. A little off on that approach, but that's okay. Splash it in. Okay, third shot. Oh my! That's a good shot. All right. And wouldn't it be nice to save par here? Finished Today you get at minus eight. TPC Sawgrass. This was my second round and the first round that I did not record shot a one over. Once I kind of got used to the system, shot an eight under on the second round. It was such a fun round. I really have enjoyed what HB Studios have changed and what they've added to this game. They've done a great job. I will be doing a full game review here in the next few weeks. I'll be putting out different tutorial videos, career mode series, and multiplayer series. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and keep coming back for more content like this and to improve your gamer ability.